Hi, I'm Gary for Expert Village. CSS files are filed used by web pages to set parameters within the web page. It sets all different types of things like text and text size and colors. And we're going to create a CSS file that is going to set parameters for the display, which is going to shut off all the images. In order to do this, we're going to create a very simple file in Notepad. If you go to Start Accessories and find your Notepad, and we're going to create a one line CSS file. We're going to type in IMG in capital. And that's going to refer to the images. Then we're going to put a space and then a bracket, which is actually the uh, curved bracket on top of the square back bracket. You hit shift in the square bracket, you'll get the curved bracket. Type in display with a colon and then space and then we're going to set that to none and put a semicolon and close the bracket and we're going to save this as a CSS file. Notepad by default wants to save it as a text document but we need it to be a .css extension so the web so the explorer will know what to do with it so we'll just go down and click on all files and that will enable you to save it to whatever extension that you want. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I will call it noimages.css. Go ahead and click save. Then we're going to open up Internet Explorer and we're going to set the parameter in Internet Options to load the CSS file that we just created. So we're going to go up top and we'll click on tools, go down to internet options, and on the general tab, you'll see on the bottom a tab that says accessibility. We're going to click on that and we'll get another window that on the bottom it says format documents using the style sheet. The style sheet referring to the CSS file. We're going to turn that on and then we're going to browse to where we saved the file. I saved it on my desktop and we find it here, the CSS file, and that's the file it's going to load every time that we open up Explorer. And we'll see as soon as we hit OK, immediately our image is going to disappear. And now it's very easy once, if we go to any page in Explorer, since this file is set to load, it's going to remove any images. If we want to turn the images back on, we simply just go to Tools, Internet Options and click on the tab again, Accessibility, and shut it off where we put Format the Documents with the style sheet. We just shut that off, hit OK, and now we're back to a regular Internet Explorer page and we can browse as usual.